Can I ask you, does how does winning the Nobel Prize change a person's life? You are, you are an example. I wonder if you would have called me at this point if I had not won the Nobel Prize. Oh, I've, 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 oh, I've run a number right. of people who haven't won Nobel Prizes. I can accept that. Um, the one change, well, um, let us list the effects. <clears throat> First, I played the Nobel Prize card once with my university to get the ability to park right by the front door. Second, I uh, received constant requests uh, for an endorsement, a contribution to a proceedings and the like. Really, many of them so annoying because they are, for example, in, 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 in sewage disposal or, or health or, or electronics, things with which I'm absolutely not familiar. They are clearly just going after Nobel laureates in hopes of snagging one. <laughs> it's, quite, it's quite stupid. Uh, so I, I get a lot of requests. I, most of them I simply ignore. I occasionally write to complain. Oh. I occasionally agree to do something. And as I said, I agreed to do something with you because you mentioned that you'd known David Bohm who uh, I find a very interesting figure. Did you ever meet Bohm? No, no. I arrived in, at Princeton in 1958. He was already gone. Yeah, gone in 50. He was remembered uh, and with unease because, as you remark, he was driven out by the Red Square, Red Scare in the United States.